Writers use a comma to separate an introductory element from the rest of the sentence. Let's practice placing commas after opening interjections. Please have your LearnZillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. Let's review. What is an interjection? An interjection is a word added to a sentence to convey an emotion, such as surprise, disgust, joy, or excitement. Interjections often appear at the beginning of a sentence and they are not grammatically related to the rest of the words. In other words, you could get rid of the interjection and the sentence would read just fine without it. Introductory elements like yes, no, indeed, and well are also interjections. Some interjections are even sounds. For example, oh, what a surprise. Yes, I do plan to attend the baseball game. Mmm, that was delicious. Notice that the interjections are set off from the rest of the sentence by a comma. Here's my draft. Let's look for errors using commas after opening interjections. Read the draft. Press pause while you read the draft. Press play when you've finished. Let's look at the beginning of the draft. Dear Alice, thank you for your letter. Yes, I am on summer break. Did you notice an interjection? Circle the interjection. Pause the video while you complete item number two on your student practice sheet. When you finished, press play. Let's check your work. You should have circled the interjection, yes. Remember, interjections are set off from the rest of the sentence by a comma. We need to add the comma after the opening interjection. Notice that I am on summer break is a complete sentence. Now our sentence is all set. Let's look at the next part of our draft. We only have a few weeks off because of our year-round schedule. No, I don't plan on attending any overnight camps this summer, but I will be going to Girl Scout day camp. Underline the sentence that contains the interjection. Pause the video while you complete item number three on your student practice sheet. When you finished, press play. Let's check your work. You should have underlined the sentence, no, I don't plan on attending any overnight camps this summer, but I will be going to Girl Scout day camp. It, ha it contains the opening interjection, no. There isn't a comma after the interjection, no. Let's fix that. We need to add the comma after no to set off the interjection from the rest of the sentence. Let's continue in our draft. I had a bad experience at an overnight camp last year and I'm not ready to try it again. I haven't told anyone other than my parents what happened. I know you're gonna ask me what happened in your next letter. Okay, I'll tell you, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. I forgot my toothbrush at home and I couldn't brush my teeth for the whole week. My breath was terrible. It was so embarrassing. Find and revise the sentence containing the interjection. Add the proper punctuation. Pause the video while you complete item number four on your student practice sheet. When you finished, press play. Check your work. You should have rewritten the sentence, okay, I'll tell you, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. You should have added a comma after the interjection, okay, because interjections are set off from the rest of the sentence by a comma. Let's look at the end of our draft. Well, I really should be getting back to my chores. I look forward to receiving your next letter. Sincerely, Kate. Revise the sentence containing the opening interjection and write it down. Pause the video while you complete item number five on your student practice sheet. When you finished, press play. Let's check your work. You should have revised the sentence, well, I really should be getting back to my chores by adding a comma after the interjection well. Now our sentence is all set. And we're done. Now that we've corrected our punctuation, our writing will be much clearer and easier for our readers to understand. Press pause while you read the revised draft. Press play when you've finished. Now it's your turn. Read this draft and revise it using what you've learned in this lesson. Press pause while you complete number seven on your student practice sheet. Press play when you've finished.
When you edit your writing, place commas after opening interjections. Writers use a comma to separate an introductory element from the rest of the sentence. This will make my writing clear and easier to read.